You know, that's one of the reasons that I truly believe this is absolutely one of the best school districts in the entire country. I think you also know that I'm pretty big on external validation. So let me just share with you three or four reasons why I really believe that you're a part, that you are one of the absolute best school districts in the entire United States. Let me start with um, this ending of an era and this retirement that we have of AYP. And just remind you that over the 10 years of AYP, there was only one district in the country that made AYP at the district level, at the every building, at every grade level, and at every subgroup each and every one of those 10 years. If that doesn't qualify as evidence that this is one of the best districts, if not the best district in the country, I don't know what does. Any district over 20,000 students, we were the absolute only one. Secondly, okay. Secondly, you look at the ACT scores up there. We continue to lead the metro area year after year after year. And what's so impressive and really isn't indicated is the fact that we have more and more kids taking the ACT every year. This last year, we had over 90% of our kids take the ACT. And if you think about that, the more kids you have, quite frankly, the tendency for your scores to decline. Because those that are going to take it just out of the chute, quite frankly, are probably going to be the kids that are going to score the highest. And as you continue to layer on more and more kids, those are kids that are questioning whether or not I'm going to go to college, questioning whether or not I want to take the ACT. We now have nine out of ten of our graduating seniors taking the ACT, and we're still the top in the entire Kansas City metro. We don't know our scores yet for this next year. Um, my gut tells me that we're going to be bouncing back up to that 25 level. I don't have any reason for saying that other than I know how hard people are working and I know how serious our kids are taking that assessment. So once again, I think evidence of the quality of the school district. I wanna talk about advanced placement just real quickly because once again, we continue to have more and more kids taking advanced placement courses and taking advanced placement tests and even though we have more kids taking them, if you'll look at what's happened to our average score over the last three to four years, you'll see how much it's improved. You compare this with districts across the country, once again, we compare very, very favorably in terms of our advanced placement scores. So we're doing some awesome things academically. I've already talked about goal two and personal growth and the unbelievable things that are happening. Now on the academic side, we come alongside and I think we're just backing it up. Fourth thing I wanna mention, and I think this is, is, is really interesting. Um, there are four or five different publications out there now that, that publish best high schools lists. And by the way, I would be remiss if I didn't say this. I know you know this, but we're talking a lot high school here. Folks, these things don't happen at high school if our middle schools, our elementary schools, and quite frankly, our preschool program doesn't do the job that it does. I mean, this is, is pre-K through 12 stuff. This is not just high school stuff. It just happens to be that the evidence is easier to compare when we get to the high school. Some, some of these um, publications, quite frankly, use different methodologies, and some of them to the point that our schools don't even qualify to make the list, for example, because our poverty level isn't high enough. And so I'm just going to concentrate on two of them that we do qualify for, and it's, it's possible. But if you look at the Newsweek's top public high schools list and the Washington Post's most challenging high school list, and once again, you look at large school districts, districts that have five or more high schools, there is only one school district in the country that has all five of their high schools on the Newsweek list. There's only one school district in the country that has all five of their high schools on the Washington Post list. And then common sense would tell you there's only one district that's on both, and that's Blue Valley Schools. So give yourselves a hand for that.